Hi, my name is Nicholas Rupanga, Assets from Ghana, South Africa. Today I'm with John Andrew at the set shop. Thank you, Nick. And today we are talking about two of our iconic shoes, the Nimbus 24 and the Nimbus Light 3. There's been a lot of confusion about where this Nimbus Light fits in, and Nick and I are going to try and give you a bit more clarity on the two differences between these two great shoes. So, John, Nimbus has been Asics flagship sh uh, shoe for almost now it's 24 years. Why Nimbus Light now? Nick, it's a very good question. And I think the Nimbus Light, and that's where this confusion, it's good that we're chatting about it today, is there's a new consumer coming out into, into the, the world today. Yes. And they don't always need the, hit the weight of the traditional uh, Nimbus, Nimbus 24, which uh, it comes in a, in a new weight of 290 grams. This comes in a lighter package of 240 grams, it definitely offers more versatility for that runner that wants the trusted version of the Nimbus but in a lighter package because he's not always packing in the high mileage of the Nimbus 24. It is a high mileage, you don't get me wrong, but it's in a lighter version. So that is the big difference between the Nimbus 24 and the Nimbus Light 3 is that it's a different, it's a lighter version in a more modernized package but with all the DNA of the trusted Nimbus 24. I do agree with you, John. Like what you are saying, the way it looks as well, new generation, the way it looks, I think the new generation will like that shoe. And you know what, Nick, you know what they've done differently for this shoe is that yes, yeah. we, it's, it's, it's very much based on sustainability. So there's a lot of, uh, I mean, the up is 50% sustainability, the, the mid side is 20%. So there's a lot of sustainability on it, which is a good message for us to send out to the people that run in the shoe. But the great thing is that the modernized way that they do the support of the shoe and the cushion is in that the, the midsole has convex and concave shapes to it so it really supports the shoe in a more modernized way it still has gel in the heel and the forefoot still offers a gender specific in that it's a 10 more drop for men's 13 and ladies but you can see the support is a bit wider in the, in the arch area here and it gives you a, 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 a more modernized support that's why you can do high mileage but in a lighter package that's the thing when i do agree i think for me my personal opinion on the nimbus lights because of the confusion, people were not understanding really what's, why Nimbus Light. But I think after this, the people will now know which consumer or which customer goes with the Nimbus Light. Nick, you know, I'll say that I think, you know, what, I, what I've seen with the Nimbus, I mean, this is the third version. The sales are definitely growing as people are starting to understand it. But I think it's very good that we discussed it today just to put more clarity out of the people. There's a lot of confusion out there. But I see this as definitely picking a space in our uh, running family. And I see this Nimbus Light as definitely going to be a really successful shoe um, in, the, in, in the market as it grows. I just want to have a question on you, John. It's, it's like right now, just imagine um, that is lightweight. It's still you have seven mileage. But price wise to your consumer, what do you think if someone, if you say this is a lightweight version of this and the price is the same, what do you think on that? From a price perspective? Yes. Yes, and that's a good question because people go, if it's light, why is it not cheaper? Yes. The trouble is, just remember I mentioned this is a modernized way to look at it, there's convex, convey, there's a lot of R&D work that goes into a shoe like this. It's still got gel in the heel and the forefoot, uses a similar uh, offerings of the upper. So there's a lot of DNA that comes away from the, the trusted Nimbus 24. So that, and we also want to position it and say, this is the same shoe as that, but in a modernized package in a lighter way, a shoe. Is the durability the same, John? The durability is absolutely the same, probably better because they use Fly Foam Nano, which is a, which is a sustainable, sustainable product, product that makes it last a lot longer. Yes. So the durability in this shoe is really good in the, in, in the, flat, in the new Nimbus Light. So now, John, on our conclusion, so I do agree that the Nimbus Light is mainly for the new generation, new consumer who is looking for something lightweight, looks nice as well. What do you think? You, you spot on, Nick. You know, as I say, I think a lot of the new runners that are coming into the industry don't always do the high mileage of the trusted Nimbus 24. So what a good shoe with the same DNA, but in a lighter package. Versatile, can fit in all types of running. If they wanted to do a high mileage long, uh, you know, later on, they could do it, but it's a very nice lightweight version to the trusted conventional Nimbus 24. That's correct, John. Thank, Thank you, you Nick. Thank you. <laughs>